dear student how are you all hope well today we will discuss information and communication technology class 8 the name of the chapter computer network chapter 2 so you see the topic today we will discuss firstly what is computer network related device to set up a network topology and types of topology let's come in lesson 8 Lesson eight. They are talking about the idea of network. So, before knowing about network, we have to learn what is computer network. <coughs> See here, I gave you one definition. If two or more computers can exchange data among themselves after being connected by any communication medium called computer network. that means from the definition it is very clear if you want to create a network you have to have confirm these three points point 1 two or more computer point 2 one communication medium and point 3 transformation of data now you can ask one question so means if we miss one point it can create network no if you have two computer but if you don't have communication medium it is not network if you have medium and computers but it will not transform data in that case it also not a network clear now come the point sometimes we are creating network so most important devices to create a network first one server number 2 client number 3 medium number 4 network adapter number 5 resource number 6 user and last one is protocol that's clear if you want to create network you need few devices we will discuss the few device part by part now come in lesson 9 the name of the lesson is topology so what is topology very simple question we are learning what is network so in the network computers are connected by different system the systems are called topology so what are the systems it can be lan it can be man it can be one right one means world wide web in this class today we will uh, discuss few of the topology but i am showing here types of the topology first one is bus topology number 2 ring topology number 3 star topology number 4 tree topology and last one is mesh topology first I am going to discuss bus topology. For your clear understanding, I have shown here one diagram, and I have mentioned here the computer number. See, C one, C two, C three, C four, five, and six. And you see, I am showing here main backbone, right? that means here all the computers are connect with the main backbone or main line so whenever any computer want to pass the data in another computer all the computers connected to the main line will get the information but only the desired computer receive the information in this topology but others are ignoring the information how come in example say suppose c1 computer number want to pass one information in c5 so what it will do it will pass the information through the main backbone and it will first come c1 will see the information c2 will see the information c4 also but only c5 received it rest of the computer will understand clearly that this information not for them now come in 
what are the information what are the advantages and disadvantages of this bus topology <coughs> Remember one thing, whenever you are writing the question answer, must draw the figure. And I shown here, see I am drawing, the drawing is like box and under the box I wrote the figure name. Okay, now come in advantages. What are the advantages of the topology, bus topology? First point, this topology is very reliable and cheap for small network very reliable they are telling and cheap that means small network like if you want to create a network in your home then it is a small network in your home in your room two or more computer or beside your room your classroom you can set up this network number two the activities of this system will not be hampered by adding another computer that means Whatever the activity is happening here, you can join here one or two more computer. Though I drawn here six computer, you can draw more or less. Now come in disadvantages. Point one, data transmission speed is low. Though the topology is very simple, data transmission, that means transformation speed of data is very small or slow. Number two, problem of main backbone can damage the whole system. Yes, if there is any problem in the main backbone, then full system will be disturbed. Now you can ask if problem in C1, what happened? If there is problem in the C1 computer, then it will be stopped. Rest of the computer will be active. This is our bus topology. Come in. Next one. This is ring topology. Here, I also draw figure for your understanding. See, I am mentioning here computer number C1, C2, C4, C5 and C6. From observing the figure, you can understand the shape of the topology. Obviously, it looks circular, right? And one computer connect here, another two computer. Very simple. See, computer number one connect with computer number six and computer number two. Again, C2 computer connect with computer number one and computer number three. Very simple. C3 also connect C4 and C2. That means it's circular in shape. But don't think always it will be ring shape. Always it will be circular in shape. Sometimes it can stay scattered. So why it can be scattered or why we can use this type of ring topology? Easily we can use uh, in your lab, in the bank, we can use this type of topology. Now see the advantages and disadvantages of the topology. First one, advantages. Every computer of the network equally important. That means you see from the figure, no one is uh, here unimportant. So both all the computers are important, equal value here. Number two, by increasing the number of computer, one cannot influence its capacity. That means you can add, remove here, one or two more computer come in disadvantages what it is number one if one computer of this network stop working the whole system will be disrupted that means if c2 number computer become inactive though it connect with c3 and c1 these two also become damaged and though c3 damage c4 also damage the c4 damage c5 also become inactive very simple this way full network will be inactive number two adding or removing extra computer one cannot influence its capability same thing sometimes if you are adding or removing computer here it will not influence rest of the computer 
from this lesson what we learn today we learn what is computer network what is topology what is bus topology the advantages and disadvantages of bus topology ring topology advantages and disadvantages of ring topology clear so next class we'll discuss rest of the points thank you for today